Hey world, I need to do a little bit of a rant for a second. As you can see in the background, I'm at the United States Postal Service. I'm a small business owner, self-employed, Jessica Kirsch Creative LLC. My goal at the post office today was to set up a post office box for my business address. That's my goal. Set it up, make the payment. Next month, make the next payment. Next month, make, make the next payment. But my experience with not just the post office, not just with, uh, you know, insurance carriers, uh, my liability insurance for my business, um, the uh, interval payments are not welcome or allowed. And I understand if I don't have the credit history for my business as I was just LLC'd this past year. So they don't know if I'm actually gonna make the payments or not, or if I'm able to, so they wanna charge me up front for it to cover their butts. However, businesses cannot grow. Some can, I can't speak for all businesses. A small business owner, I mean, We, we need breaks sometimes. I mean, just let, all I need is just to make the first monthly payment and then in next, next 30 days, I'll make the next payment. And then maybe after that, I'll have enough to pay you for a whole year. I just recently had to cancel my business um, year insurance policy because they, I had a, had an amount that I could afford each month and then I got a bill in the mail and it was for uh, six months of the year of a 12 month policy, not just the first month. And so then I missed that bill. And so then I had to call and cancel and then I had to make up the payment for when the, the policy was actually in service, but I was, I had still hadn't made it. It's just, this is very frustrating. And I, I almost feel, not almost, I, I absolutely feel this way often when it comes to, I, when it comes to building business and being somebody who doesn't use credit cards anymore and uh, because I'm drowning, or I, you know, my student loan debt, I'm drowning in student loan debt, so I cut out my credit cards, so I only use cash. So I can't pay, I can't pay for things that I don't physically have the cash for or the, the cash deposited into my checking account, not pending, physically in the checking account. I cannot make payments to anybody. I can't buy gas. I can't buy groceries. I can't do anything if the money is not there. And it's a great it's a lifestyle that I have chosen to adapt and I'm totally fine with with the lifestyle. It's actually, it's it's been a, a refreshing lesson and, and um, has helped me just, just, un, just, it's really, it's been such a blessing. <laughs> and, um, but when it comes to my business, I can't, I am one person. I'm one woman and I'm trying to, to to pay all of my bills each month just like everybody else and if if the money's not in the account on a card, on a debit card, one debit card, then the money has to be moved, you know, around or I can normally split the payment. So I'm standing at the register here at United States Postal Service and Monica, she was the clerk and she was incredibly helpful and she she did everything she could to see if we could somehow override the split, you can't split the payment um, onto two different debit cards and $9 in cash plus what's in my debit accounts right now. I need to get, I'm waiting on on direct deposits from my stock photo agencies. 
I don't get paid twice monthly, like the like in the corporate world, and that's okay. I choose to do that, and this is not a video complaining about my my financial situation or uh, debt or credit or any of that. This is a video. It's just a rant as I sit here in the car, racking my brain at how the post office cannot allow me to make a $44 payment for three months of P.O. Box service here at this location because I don't have $44 in one checking account, but I have it combined together in two different checking accounts, both on debit cards, and then I had $9 in cash to add to that, to total $44 with $4.26 left over and I'm not once again I'm not complaining. It's just one of those it's one of those times and in these time periods this is a this is a period of growth. Um personally and professionally when I I reach these it's very 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 not very often anymore do I reach a point where I just feel like I want to scream out loud or just sit and cry. And um, when it comes to these kinds of issues, um, I've been a business owner since 2009, and uh, this is just another day, you know, but I, <sighs> there's on the application for the PO box, there's an option to check. Are you, do you qualify for a no fee PO box? What's, what's that about? No fee? Who's getting the no fee? I mean, I'm over here scraping things. No, not about the finances. It's about the business building. If I walked in as a corporation with my, my, uh, you know, my business credit card, even if I didn't have the money or the business didn't have the money in the account, but I put it on my credit card and, you know, postal service might not even be able to collect eventually if say the company went bankrupt before the bill was paid, I don't know, some crazy, like they can't accept my, my cash payments because the card that has, will auto withdraw the payments in three months, three months from today would be the next auto withdrawal $44 because that debit card doesn't have the $44 on it right now. They cannot approve me for three months of P.O. Box service. Is this mind-blowing to anybody else? Because this kind of stuff happens all the time. And I'm scratching my head. And then, and I don't, for those of you that know me or don't know me, or if you're new, welcome. Um, but if you've been following me for a while, my, my very first breakthrough mentally video on YouTube was my student loan debt video, my student loan rap song video that I posted in April of 2018, where I just kind of got to this point where I am right now, but about my student loan debt. This is a, this, I'm way different situation now and things are really picking up. It's just these, I feel like I'm plugging holes in a boat, like a little rowboat. <laughs> Literally, there's a there's a commercial that I I always am like, I see it and it's this like spray on glue or um, sealer or stuff and, and this guy shakes the can he's like oh look it'll see this big hole in this rowboat like it'll it'll just make it so there's not a hole anymore in this rowboat and then there's it shows the guy like happily rowing on the on the pond I think of it like that little rowboat has a little hole, like not a big one, like the guy said he was covering with the substance, whatever that spray stuff is, a little hole, and I put I'm, I put my hand on it to like stop the water from coming in, right? Because the boat's gonna capsize or it's gonna go under. And as soon as I, you know, like do some kind of rig and I, uh, I don't know, put clothing in the hole or something to slow the slow the leakage, another hole forms. But this time it's it's. It's maybe a little smaller, and as I'm like, oh, well, I can handle that. I can handle. I, I've handled this, so I can handle that. As that hole is seeping, then another hole forms, and it's even bigger. 
And so then I'm using my, I've got both hands, you know, trying to clog these holes in this hypothetical rowboat. And then I've got my foot trying to get this other one and, and I'm trying to steer it. Like that's how I feel 80% of the time when it comes to dealing with any kind of payments, monthly payments for my business, my small business. And there's no, there's no buddy. She didn't even have a phone number, like an 800 phone number that I could call and explain the situation. She, she didn't, literally didn't, she was at a loss of words, wish me luck and on my way. And she did all that she could do. It's not her fault, but this is an epidemic, not an epidemic. This is, this is a crisis. This whole only accepting on cards thing. What happened to cash? That's where it all started. I mean, use credit cards all you want. That is cool. Take out mortgages, whatever to each his own. It's just, I've been burned and it's, personally my story I I have some trauma from being sued but you know sheriff showing up and uh, for a credit card that I stopped paying on and it, like years back and then student loan debt collectors harassing me for years and I thought that they were standing outside of the house and that they I, I just had no idea because it's I've just been through some stuff to the point that I not saying that I've been through everything and I'm not saying it's terrible, horrible stuff. I'm just saying my experience, it's been traumatic to the point that I am no longer interested in borrowing any. It's not worth it to me. I have trouble sometimes borrowing like a book from a friend. Ask any of my friends. They try to give me like a, a, a coffee mug. Uh-uh. I feel, I feel this guilt that what happens if I can't repay them or I break the mug or the book flies out of my car window as I'm driving and I somehow can't pay for another book to give back to the friend even though the friend wouldn't even probably think twice about it because it was... <sighs> That's where I'm at. So I'm going to take a deep breath and... I have looked up the local SCORE chapter, which is um, business mentorship. Um, I think it's government run, and if it's not, I don't know. But they're closed already. So they're only open from like 9 to 12. I'm going to go down there and see if they have any tips and tricks to negotiate small business ownership building and pushing through these little unplugged holes in my rowboat just this time period I'm so close to just being able to just take maybe take a take a breath and just you know I'm slowing the seepage I'm slowing the seepage I'm just so I'm so close and I can feel it and I know that this growth this moment of growth right now it typically means that there's something something big is about to happen that's that's what I that's what you, typically these moments something is something big is about to change in my life and I could be wrong but that's just I have to remind myself of that that this is a moment of growth and it is it is just it's just one more thing and everything like every single experience like this makes me makes me stronger and sharing my experience it, hopefully for anybody who ha either has a small business or would like to start a small business or is in the process of starting one, don't be discouraged, okay? It's very discouraging. Trust me, everywhere, everybody, not everywhere, not everybody, you will want to quit and go back to the corporate job that you didn't think that you could ever step foot into ever again after they did whatever to you and blah, 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 blah. You will have those thoughts for a long time. Maybe I should just go back to that paycheck. Maybe I should just go back. Listen to me. Push through. 
And I promise you, it will be worth it because you own your time. So thanks for listening. I'm going to post this, take a deep breath, and then I think I'm going to go for a walk. Maybe uh, drink some water because my lips are chapped. <sighs> Just one more br quick summary, just so there's no confusion. This video is just an expression of my thoughts and feelings in the this current period of time while I'm sitting here in my car outside of the post office. This is by this is not an expression of talking about my financial situation or is it me complaining or is it me saying me 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 wah 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 or the little guy can't get ahead. This is not that. Okay? So just to be clear. So just putting that out there. Thank you for watching. If you like, I don't even know. I'm, I can't even do a good exit. If you're not subscribed already, subscribe to the channel. Every, every subscription helps. Every ad that is played all the way through, I think it helps. Pennies is better than no pennies. So thank you guys. And uh, sorry that I was yelling into the phone. I'll see you guys on a different day. Bye.